Why are Sweden allowing all of these Quran burning demonstrations? Is it the only country to allow these? And should the Swedish authorities be doing more to prevent these hateful actions? I'm sure you've seen the reports in the news about these latest Quran burnings in Sweden and about the widespread condemnations that these burnings have received. Not only have Muslim countries condemned the burnings, but even the government of Sweden itself has condemned the burnings. Many Muslims around the world feel personally attacked or insulted, not only by the burning of the Quran itself, but also by the fact that the Swedish government have allowed the burnings to happen in the first place. These events are politically damaging for Sweden and threaten to put its NATO membership application in jeopardy. And following these events, the United Nations Human Rights Council have voted in favour of a resolution that calls on United Nations members to try and do more to prevent these attacks on religion that are designed to discriminate or incite violence. And this seems like a reasonable and neutral resolution that not only protects Islam and Muslims, but also every religion, whether it's Christians, Jews or Hindus. But coming back to Sweden, are the burnings of the Quran actually lawful according to Swedish law? While looking at Swedish law, there is no anti-blasphemy law that specifically prohibits the burnings of the Quran or desecration of any religious text for that matter. But there did used to be, but as Sweden has become less religious and more secularized, these anti-blasphemy laws have slowly, slowly been eradicated. But to be fair, Sweden isn't alone in this, and its lack of anti-blasphemy laws are pretty similar to other Western countries. Which brings me to the question that I had, which is, can Sweden, can the Swedish government actually stop these protests from happening? Quite interestingly, it seems that it's actually quite difficult to stop these protests from happening in Sweden. It seems that it's not the government that has the authority to give a permit for these protests. It's actually the Swedish police that will either give you a permit for protest or they will deny your application. But if they deny your application, they have to give specific reasons for denying it, such as a potential risk to public safety. And in fact, the Swedish police apparently did deny two applications for Quran burnings back in February, citing assessments from the Swedish security service that the burnings could lead to a potential increased risk of terror attacks in Sweden. Despite that assessment, a court in Sweden later overturned the police rulings and gave permission for the protests and Quran burnings to happen. So it seems like it's difficult even for the police to stop these burnings from actually happening. But what about hate speech? Sweden, like many other Western countries, does have hate speech laws. And these laws are designed to prohibit incitements against certain groups, whether that's religion, race, color, gender. And some say that the burnings of the Quran that are happening these days in Sweden do count as hate speech, as hate crimes towards Muslims. And I personally would agree with that, but then you have others on the other side saying that no, the burnings are not an attack on Muslims, but they're an attack on the religion of Islam itself. And the criticism of religion is covered under freedom of speech, even if others might consider it offensive. My rebuttal to that would be that if these protests and these Quran burnings were just a freedom of expression. They wouldn't be doing it in front of mosques. They're deliberately trying to provoke a reaction from Muslims, not only in Sweden, but around the world. And they're deliberately sending a message to us with these burnings that we hate you. We don't like you. We don't respect your holy book. And we don't consider you equal to us. That's the message that I'm getting. Even the Swedish public are getting fed up of these Quran burnings. According to a recent poll done by Swedish national TV broadcaster SVT, 53% of Swedes now say that they would support a ban on the public burnings of holy books such as the Quran. Are Swedish authorities targeting Muslims only? I think the way to answer this would be to see if the Swedish police and authorities would allow burnings of other religious texts such as the Bible and the Torah. And in fact, one Muslim man in Sweden decided to put this to the test. He applied for a permit to burn the Torah and the Bible, and he applied to burn it outside the Israeli embassy in Sweden. Obviously that was met with condemnation from the Israeli embassy, rightly so. But the Swedish police did give the Muslim man permission to burn those texts. But what I found really inspiring was that our Muslim brother in Sweden decided actually not to go ahead with the burnings of the Torah and the Bible, saying that as a Muslim, it wasn't in his faith to disrespect other religions. And I love that. I love that he showed the world the true character of a practicing Muslim, that we are respectful of all religions. As Muslims, we respect other people's rights to follow their own religion, whether that's Christianity, Hinduism, Judaism, or anything else. I will say that Sweden are not alone. Most European countries, like Sweden and also the USA, have no anti-blasphemy laws anymore. And so technically, what's happening in Sweden with the burnings could happen in any of these countries, like it has happened in the USA in the past as well. But the question remains, is it right? When does freedom of speech become hate speech? My opinion is that just because you can say something, 
doesn't mean you should. And I don't think that addressing hate speech limits freedom of speech. We all have a responsibility for our words and actions. And if you say something that's inflammatory or insulting towards a particular group, don't be surprised when that group comes back at you with something equally inflammatory or insulting. But in terms of the Quran burnings, I personally believe that these are hate crimes are examples of hate speech. I think under the grounds of hate crime and hate speech, the Swedish authorities probably should be doing more to prevent them, to stop them. And I would say the same thing if people were burning the Bible in front of churches or burning the Torah in front of synagogues. Because when you decide to burn a Quran outside a masjid or decide to burn a Torah outside the Israeli embassy, you're doing more than just expressing your disagreement with the religion. You're deliberately trying to provoke a specific set of people with your insulting inflammatory actions and you don't deserve to be listened to and you don't deserve a platform. A good example of freedom of speech would be if these protesters and burners actually went on TV or held some debates, expressed their disagreement for Islam and the Quran, try to refute its points. We can have a meaningful discussion. That's freedom of expression. But these burnings are just deliberate xenophobic hate crimes designed to provoke Muslims and they don't belong in the 21st century. That's my take. Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm actually curious to hear what everyone thinks. Maybe you think I'm wrong. Tell me why. Otherwise, please stay safe if you're a Muslim. In Europe especially, Islamophobia and xenophobia are on the rise. Please take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum.